You asked and I deliver. In my previous video on microwaving coffee beans, you asked about the taste and brewing time. In this video, I do both brewing and tasting of the beans ground at different temperatures. If you haven't seen the first video, you can find it below in the description. I began with dialing in the brewing recipe, making sure that I had a balanced recipe before starting the experiment. In each experiment, I made sure to keep the brewing process and variables as constant as possible. When brewing with the microwave beans and frozen beans, after grinding, I made sure to let the grinds heat up or cool down to room temperature before brewing with them. Here are the three temperatures brewed side by side. So here we have the cup of coffee with microwave beans and even before tasting it, looking at the drawdown time, it was 25 seconds less than the room temperature beans. So it clocked in at 2 minutes and 25 seconds versus 2 minutes and 50 seconds, which was the room temperature one. And that is a pretty big change. I didn't do any anything different in my routine. I kept it as streamlined as possible and having a 25 second change between room temperature beans and microwave beans is a pretty big deal. You know what, I would say it's, it's pretty good too. It's also a balanced extraction. I would actually say this one is a bit more interesting in my mind because it has a bit more like tartness and acidity to it, but it's not really because of the microwaving it's because the extraction is slightly lower than the room temperature one. This has a bit more characteristics that I would like in a cup of coffee. But I'm pretty confident that I could also replicate this cup with room temperature beans by tweaking some of the variables. This is the frozen one. So the beans have been frozen and then ground up and then I let them sit to reach room temperature and then I brewed with the beans and they had the same drawdown time as room temperature. So frozen beans and room temperature beans have the same drawdown time. Let's see if they have the same taste though. It does not have the same taste. So the frozen beans have a bit more of a better body in my opinion, like the silkiness on the body is better. It's not However, as good as the microwave beans where I felt like there was some more interesting acidities that came through, but this is also pretty good here. So if I had to rank it, I would say the room temperature beans are bottom and then the frozen beans and then the microwave beans. So what have I learned from this addition to the experiment? All of the three cups are slightly different. Personally, I felt that the microwaved cup of coffee was the best one out of the three. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna make out of it. It doesn't mean that microwaving your beans is the best solution, but it does make you question. Maybe I need to microwave my coffee beans to change the grind size distribution to brew a better cup of coffee. I feel like I need a few more tools and a bit more knowledge to really pinpoint the reasoning why the microwave cup of coffee tasted better. But in my opinion right now, it's because it was slightly under extracted and those acidities that came through were just a bit more interesting in the cup of coffee. So be mindful of what your beans temperature is before you grind them. Perhaps this is a variable that you just always need to lock in and keep consistent so that you don't worry too much about it because nitpicking about 
microwaving your beans or freezing them to squeeze out a bit more or a bit less extraction might not be for everyone. And in my opinion, it's slightly a hassle to worry about. So what am I going to do with this knowledge? I don't know. I'm probably just going to put it in my back pocket until I can think of a practical way of using it in my ruse. So until next time, peace.